Right, so it is day two. Let's see what we've bought on the GE and let's see our daily challenges. Right, so press X on Posty Pete. If we look at the GE, right, so the prayer potions haven't bought. Our essence of finality has not sold. That was pretty much like worst case. Um, that didn't really go very well. So um, I'm going to throw this in for 49 mil. Ah, that's not good. Right, so we shall leave that in the GE and hopefully that will sell overnight. Right now, potions, I'm going to check the margin again and see if we can throw in a new offer. As well, the battle staffs haven't really bought, considering like we've been gone 24 hours. Which is weird, but we've got enough to start for today, so we'll definitely be doing some crafting today. And we'll make sure to go and do our daily challenges, see what we've got. Right, so, prayer potions have increased quite a bit. We're just under 10k now for a bracket. Wow, they've decreased? Okay, so I guess we're doing prayer potions. Um, We'll need to buy some snake grass as well, so that will keep us topped up for a bit. Right. Beautiful. So, prayer potion, we will all be in for a bracket five. We're going to be 8.5k. Um, and if I just check prayer potion now, don't get me wrong, we'll still make some money, but we won't make as good money as crafting. So, herbal has really died off, which I'm a little bit surprised it's died off that much. What I'm going to do now, I'm probably gonna, I should have checked the price for potions first. So I'm going to try and throw them in for that and try and get rid. I'm going to do my daily challenges and do crafting. That is pretty much what we're going to be looking at to do today. Uh, we'll also do our keys as well. So we have the Foresight Train, so we'll be able to pick some decent stuff up, really. Proteins would be the best for us. Uh, like a wild dummies. We can also buy another key, which we will do. Oh, definitely Dungeoneering training dummies. Right, so let's see what our challenges are. Daily Dungeoneering, wonderful. Pickpocketing, we will... I think that means I can just pick it, pickpocket men and then clean six grimy herbs. So that is the Herbal one done. Nice and easy. I'm going to do the thieving one now. Ah, so the Essence of Finality kit did sell. We, may, we might have made like 100k, um, but the good thing is we actually didn't lose money. Well, uh, I don't know if I can be tempted to put like a really low ball offer and see if we can get a flip out of there. I think I will when we next go to GE. We're now at a point now where the cash stack is too much for me to like use. So utilizing something like that in the Grand Exchange is a good way to like work off a bond. Um, the way I'm thinking about it, if you were to do something like just the essence of finalities flips a couple of times in these 14 days, I could pay off half, maybe even a full bond quite easily. And it's just like something else you can use to your advantage while playing and while doing other stuff to make even more money. So I'm just going to cash in those two daily challenges. That is level 10 thieving, and we just got 20k herbal XP. So in terms of the weekly rewards, we've got some decent ones here. Some oddments are nice, but we really want that death touch dart. That can basically be like this season's death touch dart, where last season we did Catholic King. Didn't really get anything. This season, we might be able to squeeze next. I'm not quite sure, but we can see how we get on. So I've got two more of the keys for that. Huge prismatic. Ooh, proteins. And then we can put those oddments in. We can, I thought we could buy another key. I don't think we can now. No, we cannot. Right, so lamps. Um, obviously, we use lamps to sort of extend our skills for making profit last uh, season. This time, we're going to put them on agility and divination. So this big lamp, I'm going to throw onto divination. Level five. I know it was a bit of a waste because it was a large lamp, but I want to get this skill progressing because access importers will open up like the world to this account that's more important than agility agility i just want to get to level 70 and then i can use silver hawks and then that's a skill we're training like passively but we're all about the collecting the protein at the minute protein is is going to be quite crucial during the bonus xp weekend all right throw these stars on mining all right and i guess we are ready to go and do some more crafting so we've done a bit of a like a shift really crafting seems to be the one like which is overtaking herbal I've not tried um, intense sticks, so I'll definitely be doing that at some point. What I want to do is get through these battle staffs, get them sold and see how much profit we've made. And then I also want to like make a list of quest requirements we've got to do to work our way to like the quest storylines we want to. Luna, and I think the desert storyline will have some worth. Menaphos and that part of the map can give us some form of money making methods and then go from there. Um, something else as well. I will be doing the fourth room through quest this weekend. And that will unlock the frames and then we'll be doing some frames for money on the weekend when i've got the time to actually play and use those methods right so we're in our favorite world now world 84 we are all set on the presets so i'm just gonna spend the night watching the witcher and cracking this out let's work our way towards uh, crafting level let's see where 3k battle stats will get us i'll come back and report where we end up and what we decide to do next 
So this is the first crafting level of the battle staffs. We're going to get level 73. Every crafting level we do get though is going to put us closer to earned. Earned is big ticket profit. However, it's a two stage process, so we are quite slow. But it's another thing we're going to make money with. So there is level 73 crafting. Moving into the red dragon hide and we're selling the Renard potions as well. Herb Lord's just not worth it. Um, for the time spent, we could be doing something like continuing battle staffs or moving on to frames. The Herb Lord market does move very quick, and that's why I always say check your margins. Because sometimes it will move on and you just won't make money. With those prep potions, we'll have been making 1k per potion. And it's just not worth it. We could be making more money doing something else. I don't need to train Herb Lord for anything else. It's just sheerly for profit. And it's basically not worth it. So we're going to continue with crafting. Finish this 5k and see where we sit from there. So there is the next crafting level. That is level 75. A couple of important things. We've got 74 as well. we got the Dragon Bracelets, which are pretty good for making a profit. And we've unlocked Harmonic Dust. And most important, we've unlocked 75 crafting for Plague's End. Now, I don't think we'll ever do that unless we do go for the 20 bond membership package. But it's nice that we're making progress with these battle staffs as well. In terms of what is buying, I don't think any of the battle staffs have bought again, which means they're probably going up a little bit. Yeah, so no more bought. And this is kind of like the problem I've not really thought about with bonus XP weekend is with making money with skilling, um, the, the price of the items are going to be up. I thought it'd be a lot more like the herbal potions would be more in demand, so there'd be better margins. They're not. They're not as great as what we used to be. Um, in crafting, because people will use fire battle staffs for like legit crafting methods, they're nowhere near as high as well. So maybe we need to do a bit of a rethink tomorrow and look at what other things we can be doing. We could be doing things like archaeology to get materials or the construction methods go and make planks and frames. I think that might be better rather than use a processing sort of skilling money making method. We'll still make money off these um, battle staffs and we still will make money off battle staffs if we buy a slightly higher price as well. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Right, so logging in, it is now Friday, so it is now bonus XP weekend, or bonus XP live as is now known. So we're going to finish the battle staffs anyway and probably get a couple more levels because of the bonus XP. Obviously, we've gone over the plan for this can bonus XP. It's more to be quest requirements, money making, and other sort of stuff. We're only going to be getting levels which are going to benefit us long term and make us more money long term. Some good news though, we have now bought the 5k battle staffs and the essence of finality sold, and those prayer potions are selling. I'll leave them in sell if at a point they don't sell and we're stuck with them, then that's just something I'll have to work with. In terms of daily challenges though, we've got thieving, which stores, which we'll do here, bit rune crafting for runes, and two laps of the agility course, which we'll go and do in Burfall. Because we have double XP, um, I'm not too bothered about going on to the portable world because I'm already at double XP anyway, and I'm not super try hard for the XP at the minute. I can do it on a world now with not too many people in, just AFK and work my way through the Witcher. I'm going to be spending the best part of an hour or two like working my way through these battle staffs. We'll get these battle staffs sold and then we can move on to the next thing. But in terms of Saturday and Sunday, I've got plenty of time for the weekend. We're going to be hitting request requirements hard and we'll have a bit more variety. Obviously, we've been sort of doing a lot of maintenance stuff on the account. We've been doing crafting as well, um, and we've not really been doing like many like variety in terms of money makers, but I've been wanting to um, sort of get some stuff sorted so we can progress quicker. What I can do though is do my keys. So as always, we'll go for the proteins first and protein bars. And then once we've done those three challenges, we'll get some more, but at least the proteins in the bank are slowly starting to build up. So last time we actually got 75. I'm thinking with bonus XP weekend, we can be aiming for 80. Now, 80 is going to do us a few things with crafting. Um, I would like to see where we can get in terms of urns. So the only ones which really started decorated, and with sort of 76, we started to get into decorated woodcutting, fishing, um, mining, hunter, and I think fishing, no, sorry, cooking is like 82. 81 for cooking, 82 for divination. So quickly we start to become like able to do urns. There's only one sort of skill for urns which aren't like the most profitable and that is rune crafting because people just go do AFK essence. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, soldier on for this for a bit. I'll let you know if we get some levels and uh, we'll go from there. So that is the first crafting level today. That is level 76 crafting. Working our way through some of the red dehyde. Crafting like leather bodies can actually be decent GP. Almost as good as the battle staff. However, I think the price will be a little bit higher because it'd be in XP weekend. But still, cracking on with these battle staffs. Um, yeah, we'll come back when we get another level. So there is 77 crafting, red dehyde bodies. I'm no battle staffs, and we're starting to get into the decorated urns. In terms of battle staffs, we've just crossed the 3k mark. We've got 2k left to do. I'll get these done and sold. So tomorrow we've got the full cash stack to be able to work with and try and do something else. In terms of what we're going to be sending the GP on, I'm going to buy something like 70 to 80 construction, which will unlock things like frames. 
and frames will be able to um, give us a, a jump in profit. So another crafting level, level 78. Um, yeah, tub speed. We've only done like just under an hour and we've already got three crafting levels. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Crafting's quick, uh, especially with some battle staffs. We have 1.3k left, so I'm going to get that completed today. Get a bit of G and see how much profit we've made. I'd like to hope we've made 10 mil, which is like a six of a bond. And we can go and do some uh, fun stuff tomorrow. So there is level 79. Still 800 battle staffs left, so we actually might get 80. Might not, might be quite close. But that is the first piece of Black D Hide Armor. I'll get these finished. We'll do our daily challenges. We'll go to the GE. And we'll go these on to sell. And then go through what we're looking to buy for tomorrow. So this is the end of the 5k. We'll just be a little bit off 80 crafting. But we can do that with some proteins. 80 crafting is important because of invention. And obviously we're looking now. As if we're going to pay for a long play on this account. And go for the 20 bonds. Which means invention at some point will be very, very like high tier for us. It'll be a massive upgrade when we eventually sort of move in to the PBM side. So it's nice that we've got that ticked off. And again, like a long-term goal of bonus XP weekend could be to get the invention skills unlocked. So what I'm going to do now is just go and do my daily challenge. And now it's going to steal some, some stores. I think it's only six I need to get. So we'll just fly. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's five. Um, right. So that is done. We're going to go to birth up and do our agility course. And I think we need to craft some runes. But what I'm going to do is use the Wicked Hood. Go to the air um, altar, and then that way we're quite close to the Grand Exchange. Go and sell our staffs afterwards. These, the agility course is... Ah, here it is. Here is the agility course. Follow the arrows. Just fly around. I need to do it twice. There's nothing too major. Level two. And then the idea is once we get something like 50 agility, we can start using silver hawks. Silver hawks, even at like the price we are now, up into 4k each. They're still very cheap for the fact that you don't have to train agility, so... We could look at moving to them. There is our first one. We've got energy potion. Energy potion and level 3 agility. Right, so there is level 5 agility. And we've also finished that daily challenge. So let's go over to the bank. Grab our wicked hood. And we'll go and fly over to the air altar. And there is our runecrafting challenge done. I don't know why. I just clicked to go to the runecrafting guild. I do not want to do that. Right, so there is our result. And we're now at double air rooms as well. So even though like, we don't get a lot, it's nice. It's a bit more. So our daily challenges are all done. Let's go and hand all those in. Going to get 13 thieving, 7 agility, and 20 runecrafting, which is pretty nice. Get our awards, and the next reward will be the death of start. Uh, we're going to add that to the currency pouch. And in terms of weeklies, circus could be a good shout, and um, penguins as well. But we're a bit sort of stuck on the west side, so maybe that could be something we'll do future. Penguins are very good to do and very good for the XP as well. Might be a way for us to train divination. So as well, we've also got the most important bit. So combat dummies is quite good. We can go protein and we'll go for three small. So do we get anything with 20 rune crafting, rune mechanics and a couple of other things as well. Some rune span stuff, which I'm sure we'll end up going back to. Seven agility, a few shortcuts, surge and escape, which is nice. Uh, Lost Tribe, for Thieving, and Crafting, we have done, as you can see, quite a stint. We've unlocked quite a few cool things as well. A few urns, which again, I said earlier on, urns are quite important for us to do, and we're working our way into the Black Dehyde. Right, so they're selling. We're going to leave them to sell. Fire Battle Staffs, let's see if they'll go for that price. No, they won't. So, let's work out how much we paid for our Battle Staff. So, it's 19.3 mil. In two mil, so we're 21.4 mil at that price. It's a nice two well, 12.4 mil, which is not too bad at all, really. That's pretty much a fifth of a bond, which we'll take that any day. So we'll throw them in to sell overnight if they don't go now. If not, I know I've mentioned it like in the previous set of videos. The main account could buy these because the main account is always after like stuff to throw in the Alka. Don't really want to use it because it's kind of almost using the main account. But not really um, to a point. So that's 33 mil. And that's 39. So that is a nice amount of change back onto the account. So one thing which works really well on the noob account is bolts. I think it's level 73, which realistically isn't that high. So we could spend a little money on some fletching. So if I do iron arrow tips. And again, is it a little bit expensive? Absolutely. But... Bonus XP, it's going to half the cost from actually paying for it. 
low level fletching there's no point in me using my proteins to do it i may as well do some um arrows and i'm going to get quite a lot of very quick xp in fact i'm actually going to use these stars as well as you can see we are flying through the levels there's 16 17 18 and 19 there is level 20 so we're not getting a chance to even see um the progress bar go around before we get a level there's 21 and fletching as well fletching is going to be a requirement for a couple of quests so we may as well get it to like a little bit of a head start 23 24 and some battle stuff sold 25 also a strange rock 26 27 28 right so we will run out of the arrows we run out of the um, arrow tips but then again we've just like got 15 levels as you see all these things unlocked nothing really of value or is like worthwhile the oak short bows for a period of time did make money and the shield bows as well not really worth it to us now entry level that could have been something like really beneficial but now not so much throwing charles is good to unlock though because it will help with our lunar storyline we want to be doing luna as soon as possible so that is there also i have a little purchase for us to make because we are on season two we now need to find a new cape for us to wear and i have decided we are going to go a little retro and buy a urban island cape or obi cape 200k very well spent because it's still one of the best like looking entry level capes 200k and there we go not as good as the old school look i will say that but it's nice and it shows we're a little bit we're a little bit further along with a little bit more money now a little more money to spend the blade drum cape will stay in the bank because i think it's quite cool no memento for season one so these battle staffs are now selling so I'm, i need to have a bit of a game plan of what we're going to be doing next the death of herblor is quite painful and those 5k battle staffs were quite quick to do and made us 12 mil i'm very much open to the idea of doing another 5k and let them buy and sell while we go and do other stuff so tomorrow i'm not crafting at all because there's other stuff i want to progress with i want to go and get a new foundations quest done work on construction and then also do a couple things with smithing get smithing up to a level smithing something like if we're going to play the long game on this account we need to get to level 80 so it's worth throwing a little bit of money into it and we can see if we can do that as well so while i'm waiting for that to buy i'm going to make a little bit of a start on some combat dummies just going to throw them in the ge uh, and so well, the good thing is as well now that combat is also double xp we're going to be doing ed3 on this account but i want to get a little bit of levels before we go i want to get something like 50 mage and then also why have i just done that i do not know i need to change that combat bar anyway what we're talking about yeah so i want to get 50 magic and something like 40 defense not so much because i need it for ed3 i just need to tag stuff but just to make sure i don't die and make sure it's not as painful ED3 is getting nerfed after the bonus XP weekend because it would be too OP for Necromancy. So now is the best chance and probably it's going to be your only chance to get a massive combat XP. And especially for this account where I want to get like magic high, a base stats on the melees, defense and range. I'm going to throw myself into ED3 for a bit and get that. But to do that, I want to get a little bit of mage XP and then eventually I'll have to do some combat XP as well. There are some quests which will get me like really early like strength attack levels, which will do. But for magic levels, I'm just going to go and use the combat dummies. And there is our battle staffs gone. Varrock teleport is nice because it means if ever I like want to use just normal teleports, I can do that. Right, so another way of showing how much money we have left is if I throw my coin pouch in here, we take our money out. Battle staff. And the reason I go for fire orbs is because they're so much cheaper than anything else. Because they're linked to the other sort of like drop table. Um, for the extra, I'm not bothered about the XP because I'm getting double XP. So I'll just save a GP and just get fire orbs. So we've got a little bit of a bigger profit. Especially with bath staffs being higher as well. Right, so that is a setup for our next money maker. And if we exchange, if we have an exam of a coin pouch, just over 11 mil. And that would just be down to how much more expensive the um, bath staffs are. I think when we bought them last time, they were something like 3.8k. Whereas now being over 4k, it's taking a little bit more profit out of our pocket. But it's a nice way for us to start. Considering we've not really done much over the past two days, just because of working stuff, it's nice that we made like a fifth of where we need to be to cover our bond. I've got two full weekends now um, to be able to fully like tackle this account and make the progress. And in the week is when I'll be doing like little bits and pieces, or a little bit of skilling, um, just to make sure that we're topping up that GP bar. But tomorrow is when we're going to be like really hitting it hard on what we're going to be doing. I've got some ideas of what I want to do, both quests and account-wise. 
while we AFK on the two other accounts and make some serious progress. But I think this is probably the best uh, the best episode so far season two. We've done the most. We've like changed stuff up. We've got quite a few uh, total levels as well. We're nearly 500 total level. And we're very close actually to our second level 80. I think I might do that with proteins in a second. Uh, 19 HP. And we're 26 mage at the minute. 27 mage. It's getting serious now. Level 2 enchant. So 27 mage. I actually forgot. This is quite big. It means we can do rings of dueling now. Rings of dueling, you might know if you've watched the early stage of a noob count. Really big way of making GP for a noob. Um, and definitely one of the ways we've profited the most. Might throw in a cheeky off of some cheap emerald rings if they're cheap enough. And we'll see um, See what we're thinking. Level 25 combat and 500 total level. There is the big 3 out in magic. I think I'll stop at 40 with dummies. And then I can use the dummies for like some early combat XP. Oh, combat level 27. So with 34 mage, we've just unlocked 30 combat. Really cranking away on these total levels. So 35 mage, 31 combat. This will be our last dummy of today. Just because I think it's a good start point. A good start point to be able to do the lower tier quests. And 26 constitution as well. So we check. Nothing too much, just a couple of abilities and portents, which we've unlocked for HP. And magic, we have unlocked a awful lot of quests, which is what we want to do. Teleport as well, so we're able to make teleport tabs. And just able to unlock a couple of, like, enchants. Very good spells. So magic really is something which is at, like, the forefront and something you really want to train up early. Because you've got quite a lot of benefits for it. But yeah, awful lot of uh, quest unlocks there. Darkness of Halavale, not a chance. So to finish the episode off, I think it'll be quite cool to get our second level 80 skill. And this is one to a bit more important than Herbal because it's something linked to Invention. Invention needs three level 80 skills to be able to unlock, and that is crafting, smithing, and divination. Having crafting done means we've only got two left. Admittedly, crafting is the easiest out of two and makes the most money out of two. Divination will be a little bit hard and a little bit difficult, but I think we can definitely get it on this bonus XP weekend. But just using that precious protein to get a level. And we are going to get it there. Level 80 crafting. There we go. Elite skill invention unlocked. If we have a quick look. Flight within. Pretty big quest as well. Dragonstone amulet. Yeah. Um, decorated Smoltenance. Not as good as the rest. But you know. It's an unlock. And more importantly. With 80 divination swiffing. We can unlock invention. But I think I'm going to call it there. So this is Friday. So we just finished Friday. This is like the last working day this week, so I've got Saturday and Sunday free to properly start cranking out this account. However, even though this is a Friday night, we've gone on for two hours, we've made quite a lot of progress. We finished our battle staffs and we've banked 11 mil, which is now in our coin pouch for the next bond. Not only that, we've got 80 crafting, we have got 20 rune crafting, 35 uh, magic, 28 fletching, and a couple more levels waiting to buy. And tomorrow, we're going to hit quite a few quest requirements, get a few levels and unlock some money making methods. The number one priority for tomorrow is to do the 4 frame free quest, unlock the ability to A, get our own workshop because that'll be our base for like a lot of skilling money making methods, but also be able to make our own planks, our own frames to both train our own construction and also sell for profit as well. But if you have enjoyed, please make sure to like the video, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode.